JJJ, you already know it's your boy Joe back out of the game, man. CodingFace.com. Listen, your boy's back. I done did it again. Hold on, I gotta get my water, man. Gotta, you know, get a little hydrated. Alright, so today's topic is first impressions. As a first, you know, first time developer, somebody who's about to get hired, you know, junior developer, whatever you wanna call yourself, right? whatever the market wants to call you to, right? So, how exactly can you make a very good impression for people to be like, oh man, this guy, he got his shit together. Like, we should definitely hire him. Well, I was saying, like I was telling everybody here, first of all, you gotta have the right portfolio. You don't want to have a portfolio full of to-do apps, full of, you know, little things like, um, like little examples, like, you know, like people start putting shit on their portfolio, which shows like, oh, they could do an algorithm, oh, they could do a, you know, slice a fucking array or fucking push into an array like come on guys <laughs> like don't put down your portfolio man because that looks like you're like a little high school student who who just learned how to program when you're going for a job it's just like any other job out there right just like any position that you might be going you want to show that you have experience you want to show that you actually know what the hell you're talking about that you're not just some beginner guy that they're gonna give a chance to and for the next six months we're basically going to be training you all the time you should want to actually put in from your part and you know just show people that you care right show people that you're working on real projects show people that you working on, on cool things that they could be like, oh wow, this guy created a, a website which basically goes into Spotify's uh, API and then basically re returns back uh, a list of songs that somebody can actually like or something cool, I don't know. Even the Star Wars API just to play around with it or I don't know, like, you could um, connect to the Zillow API, which is a major real estate website, right? And find out different apartments in, in your location. You could be like, hey, there's a website that shows you the cheapest uh, apartments around your neighborhood, right? You could create something like that. You could create an API or, you know, something that connects to the Google API for Google Maps, right? And show, I don't know, the best uh, freaking weed dispensaries in San Francisco or LA, whatever, right? Something that shows you can come in and create cool shit. And nobody's gonna have to hold your hand. You know what I mean? Like, that's what's important. That should be your first impression. Your first impression should be like, hey, no one needs to hold my hand. Hire me and I'm good to go. That should be the first impression that people should be getting from me, you know? So, at the same time, always, you know, try to come in. Come in early, at least the first few months. Come in early, make sure you get there on time. Once you, you're there for like a month, two months, who cares? You already proved your point. You're like, okay, I could get here early if I want to. Now, if I come in late a little while, it's all right. Nobody's gonna kill you about it, right? Just make sure you're fucking good at your job. That's one thing, because if you're bad at your job and take forever to code and, you know, and your code looks sloppy, then, you know, you can't complain when people start telling you, like, oh, get here early, da-da-da, like, just do your job. You know what I mean? Also, to just, you know, they'll go into work and flip-flops, you know? Sometimes people, they be very, how you call this, um, you know, they very free when it comes to like startups and stuff like that, right? You'll see people in shorts, you'll see people in, in fucking flip-flops, 
But for you to be taken serious and you want people to take you serious at all times, don't show up to work in flip flops. Don't show up to work in shorts. Maybe wear just a regular t-shirt. That's fine. Don't wear You don't have to wear a button down all the time. All right. So that's fine. But don't wear flip flops because it's just. Even if you're a brand new developer or even a seasoned developer, it just doesn't look good. It doesn't look like you're there to work. You're there to really bust your ass and, and work hard. It just looks like, oh, there's a hangout spot. Even though some other people might do it, you don't want to be part of that crowd. You don't want to be part of the crowd of like, oh, we look like we're in, in, in our basement. No, you don't want to do that. You want to give a first impression of like, okay, this person, he's here to work. He's ready to bust that, you know, bust that ass out here. And yeah, so that's what I will say. You know, because also too, you never know who's going to come into the office. You never know somebody from another company might swing by and they like your skills. But now they look at you and they're like, this is Joe, the guy in flip flops with shorts on and a fucking mohawk i don't know <laughs> you know what i mean like just be presentable be presentable at all times it doesn't have to be like crazy like you see me i'm, I'm not out here crazy like i'm not over here like super dressed up or anything i'm laid back dressed up but at least i go in there and you know i've seen people in shorts i've seen people in, in fucking in chancletas and I'm like, man, this is work. You know what I mean? Like, if anybody comes in and sees me like this, what they got to think of me, you know? So, always your first impressions should be something that people's going to look at you and be like, okay, this person, he's a hard worker. He's He knows what he's doing. He's not here looking like all crazy. He, he doesn't come in with a, a, a bullshit-ass portfolio of, like, Here's three different ways to do what to do at. Like, nobody cares about that, man. I always tell you guys, man, when you're working on your portfolio, create real projects, man. It doesn't matter if, if it's a real client or not. Create a real project and have a nice design. People keep leaving this shit out, man. People keep leaving this out and, and, and creating their own designs, man. When you put in something in your portfolio, that's what's going to show that you know what you're doing. That's what's going to show that the websites you're working on are top notch. You don't want to work on a site or basically you don't want to show to people that you've worked on some shitty ass websites. You want to show them the best, right? So if you're not a designer and you don't have the skills right now at this moment listen it ain't no shame to basically go online and and you know find a, a dribble layout or go to somebody else's website and, and copy and just put it on your portfolio but redo it from the beginning right like if i go to a website and i like it i'll re recreate the the website and basically just keep it on my portfolio be like hey i created this website you know, so people could look at it and be like, oh, wow, this guy created this website. Like, it looks real nice. It looks clean. Because even though if all your functionalities work perfectly, if the website looks like shit, nobody cares what, how much work you put in at all. It doesn't matter if you put in 50 hours into one website. It doesn't matter because as soon as the website looks like shit, automatically it's like, oh, under the hood, it looks, it's probably shit too. You know what I mean? So first impression kids right so anyways man i'll see you guys later there's another video by your boy joe <laughs> codingface.com listen we ain't here live well not live today but <laughs> we ain't here man doing my little drives all right and um i want you guys to check out the description man the description i have courses for those people that want to become web developers so people that want to learn I have the best courses on my description, period. You know, I have courses on my website, which everybody who has taken it has been saying, yo, I love this tutorial, this whole course, right? I'm releasing the JavaScript one this week. 
and then right below it there's a whole bunch of courses from Udemy you know they're all ten dollars right now if you take advantage you're gonna see that basically it's like they're the best courses out there all right guys I'll see you guys later bow